ambassador from Italy to Uganda, Marcelano Azanti, and his lovely wife. The minister in charge of Karamoja Affairs and member of parliament, Ibanda South, Honorable John Biavagandi. The other members of parliament and all the local leaders, the university chancellor, vice chancellor, chairman of the board, board members, teaching and non-teaching staff, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, students, and most importantly, those graduating today. A very good morning to you all and the best wishes. It seems whenever we're having our graduation, there's this element from Mother Nature. We have to learn to embrace it and work around it. I thank the lords up there for stopping the rains as we came so that we could have a bit of peace and focus on the graduation. But we cannot do certain things that are outside our control. We remain grateful to the Lord. I want to thank all of you for gracing this event and making the time and special effort, especially His Excellency, the Ambassador, who set off very early this morning to be here in time. He was actually, I had arrived at 10 o'clock at my residence, but it was pouring. But thank you so much. We do not take it lightly. Those of you who live in Ibanda, you think it's easy to tell somebody, come, just come for a function. It is not. It's a big sacrifice on his part and his wife to forego the time they would spend with their family and with them, whatever duties they are doing, to come here and be with us today. So we take them, we hold them in very high regard. So straight away, to you the graduates, as you move forward today, just remember, life is all about the three C's choices and chances that lead to changes. Choices, chances, changes. Let me explain. In the first phase of your life, approximately 20 years, you are learning to make choices and to take chances. Often guided by parents, teachers, and peers, you learn from one another to achieve the desired changes. You are here today because you have made some choices. You took a chance on a particular roadmap, opportunities and career. Now, you start to realize the changes that will happen in your life. You're no longer a student, you're no longer a child, you're a man or a woman. To so many, this door, today graduated, this door remained closed. You opened it. And so, you will open so many more along the way. Congratulations to all of you today for you graduate. And I give a very big salute and best wishes to all of you. The end of phase one is just the beginning of phase two. And later, there shall be phase three. Some of us are now in phase three. In phase one, we had similar aspirations to succeed at school. Your ambition will not be the same as your peers. From now on, your dreams, your aspirations are different from the people you have grown up with. But I urge you to stop comparing and negatively competing. Positive comp competition is healthy and it's okay. But this pull him down syndrome that has, has been growing so much in Uganda, especially on social media, is not accepted. Some will keep climbing, some will stop somewhere, Everybody has got his own race in his own time. All I ask is that you do the best of yourself, not the best of another person. Keep growing in knowledge and understanding. Keep reading and questioning. Critical thinking. That's the biggest thing you walk away from here with. The ability to solve problems. Critical thinking skills. The day you stop reading, you stop growing, and soon you become irrelevant. That applies to all of us. Another thing, as you depart now, you may have heard of a saying that 20 children do not play together for 20 years. Many of you have now crossed the 20 years. You will not be playing with the same people. You are going to meet new people along this journey. You interact with them. So you will not emerge at the same level as the same, like how you play your whole graduate at the same level. From now on, everybody is charting his own path. So go out there. 
go into this incredible world filled with infinite possibilities, infinite opportunities. Seek them out and conquer them, but choose wisely. Make new friends along the way as you build your social capital. Capital is not just money. The people you meet, how you interact with them, that's how you will build your social capital. And you will come to pay one day. Don't worry about what is ahead of you or who is behind you in this race. Because it is not a race of events. It's a race against time. And time is the most precious commodity that is now your currency. Trade with it carefully. If you don't have another, if you don't have a car, and your friend has got a car by the age of 30, don't worry about that. If your friend has got a house and you don't have a house because you're now reaching 40, don't worry about that. Don't start pulling him down. You are running your own race. Everything will happen in its own time. You will marry at your own time. How many children you have is your own affair. When you are young and you are studying, we are all in a race. We are taught to compete. This is now your own individual race. You walk this journey on your own. You are at a different stage in your life. Celebrate your friends that succeed at whatever stage. Whatever that stage is, whether it is birthdays, weddings, or promotions, don't despise, don't be envious. Because your time will come. Everybody's time is different. If you follow your own time and your own success, you will arrive there. And your success will last a lifetime. And you will have a legacy. I have been to several university graduations. But this is my first graduation at a university that I co-own. So I find it special. And I hope that this special cohort of students that graduate today get a special blessing and luck as they go forward. I commit into your hands the greatest, the greatness and future of this nation. You are living in a very interesting time. A time full of hope, challenges and opportunities, especially after COVID. I commit into your hands my dreams, my aspirations for this great nation. There are so many things I have done and yet there are so many that I have not done. May you go out there and make a difference. Make this country proud and this world a better place. This global warming has been a loud warning that we have not heeded. Climate change is about choices. The choices we make, the choices we live with, and the chances we take. Be responsible. That's all you have to remember. Be responsible. As we were driving in this Maram Road coming here, I looked to my left and to my right, and the number of Bovera all over the place and plastic bottles. I was closing my eyes, thinking my friends from Italy are going to say, where have we come? Nobody understands global warming here. Yet we are recycling here in Ivan. There's a business, several people have got a business of collecting these plastic bottles. But the Boveras are also a challenge. We cannot live with them. They are not biodegradable. We need to look after our environment. We need to be responsible. I commit into your hands the challenge and responsibility of building this nation so that someday the whole world will look up and salute us in Uganda. Why? Because in this country, there is everything that we need to be great. A country so gifted by nature in so many ways, and you will be a key part of unlocking that potential. Because you are young and you have time. Time, I've told you, is the most valuable commodity. Money comes after time. So many people have got a lot of money, but when time runs out, alas. The chairman of Samsung, I had been to Korea to meet the Samsung family because of my performance here with Samsung phones. An old man, Mr. Lee, he died last year in October. At the age of about 78. His fortune was worth, his individual fortune was over $20 billion. His son, who is his apparent heir, was involved in a small corruption scandal. He's worth $12 billion. He's in prison today. The father died with $20 billion. The inheritance tax is over 10 billion taken by the state as inheritance tax. A man I looked to and thought was so wise. These things we chase, the material things in life, take a step back and value time and value relationships. 
the things you do, the people you touch, the people you move, are what matters most at the end of the day. Remember, to whom much has been given, much is expected. Responsibility is your middle name from now on. If you didn't know that, I baptize all of you who graduate today with responsibility as a middle name. <laughs> on that note, I want to end here. I thank the university staff, my colleagues on the board, the team that has made this happen, to make these students who they are. I thank our guests who have come all this way. I want to wish everybody good luck, and may God's speed be with you. Thank you.